Hi YouTube, in this video we will be discussing mobile usability issues on your WordPress website and hopefully getting those solved for you. So I got this email from Google Search Console and from logging on on the Google Search Console, mobility usability, mobile usability issues detected on my website, which is blockernet.com. And the errors I was getting, the errors were uh, text too small to read and clickable elements too close together. When, when I would log on to the search console, I would get, I could see the errors. If you come to, uh, down here uh, to enhancements, mobile usability, and it'll show you uh, text too small to read. It'll show you your errors. So I was going crazy trying to figure out how to do this. I changed the font size on my on my website at one point because I read with the these errors, the text too small to read or the clickable elements too close together. I mean, my theme was supposed to be 100% responsive. Now, so I, I changed the text size. I made it bigger, larger, because I, if you're not aware, Google, uh, now I think in 2020, just they're rank, they rate websites by mo uh, mobile, mobile. So when you, when you plan to design a website or create a new website, Google, they crawl them mobile first. So when you create a website, think mobile first and then, and then desk desktop after that, but mobile, mobile usability comes first for Google now. So like I was saying, I switched the font size and I made my fonts bigger. I had Google, um, crawl it again or run it again, uh, analyze and the same errors were coming back. I kept reading forums and people were saying, Oh, maybe, maybe the font size in your mobile menu is not working. If this is showing, it's because obviously your theme is not responsive. It's not a, a mobile responsive theme, but my theme is, was responsive. And actually, even at one point, the theme was showing up perfectly on my desktop, but it was actually just showing up. It was showing up on mobile without the theme displaying. So pretty much a white background with all the letters and all the letters and all the hyperlinks. So even, even that was happening at, at one point, my theme, my theme sort of broke, which led me to figure out that apparently because I have Jetpack, I have Jetpack installed on my WordPress website. So apparently Jetpack is known, has known issues with a uh, W3 total cache, which I was using to speed up my site. If you use a W3 total cache it really speeds up I mean, my, my GM, the speed, on, the speed on my site was like at 90, 98. Once I started using W3 total cash, so it was like almost at 100% fully optimized. But how I solved it was I came into my, my WordPress dashboard and unfortunately I, deactivated my W3 total cache. And once I, uh, once I deactivated the W3 total cache, I went back to, um, went back to Google search console and I clicked on the errors. And then I had, I ran another validation check. And then after the next day it came back and it was telling me, yes, you're, I got the, I received the email saying mobile usability issues successfully fixed for this site. 
And that was definitely a victory because you know how that feels when your <laughs> site's not working or there's something wrong with your site and it always seems like you're uh, trying to go back to tweak something. You try to optimize it and then you it ends up doing the opposite. So, yeah. So, hopefully that works for you. Maybe you have a different cache like a cache optimizer on your site, try deactivating the, the optimizer. So yeah, I mean, it was, I believe it was this conflict between uh, Jetpack and the W3 total cache. Now my website is obviously, it's not as fast as optimized as it was when the W3 total cache was installed on it. But I mean, that's uh, Google gave me the A-OK. -okay. They gave me the thumbs up on the website. It's up and running and everything looks beautiful on my website right now. It's uh, Google loves it and it's showing up. It's crawled perfectly and I can Google search all my posts and they all show show up. And before when I was getting the errors, it was not, it was, it wasn't really showing up. My pages were sort of scattered and Google, Google didn't really care to crawl them, I guess, because it, it wasn't mobile optimized. And yeah, I mean, and then after, if you tr want to try this and then you want to try to speed up your site, you could do uh try like a, uh, you know, there's things like the image optimizers, like um, lazy load images. But if you're using Jetpack, apparently lazy load images is not, it's not really compatible with Jetpack. Well, I digress. Anyhow, um, I'm hoping that this was useful to you. It worked for me. It worked for me. I, I was getting... You know, I was getting those two uh, messages as far as a mobile usability was text too small to read and clickable elements too close together. So that was the problem in mind. Maybe your mobile usability is something different and this might not work, but it might also be something different and this might work. So there might be some sort of plugin that's not you know two plugins that are maybe not crashing or maybe a plugin that's not that's not com compatible with your theme you know another thing at that if you've now you're spending so much time trying to figure this out and you've maybe disabled most plugins and it's not working you might want to consider getting a different theme um, you might want to consider maybe getting a paid theme, but I wish you the best. Thank you so much for watching. If you found the video useful, which I hope you did, please click a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment below and maybe let me know or let everyone know if you found it useful or what part you found useful or if it's working for you, please let everyone know. Thumbs up, subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great one.